Hello world! Today we are going to talk about how multiple headers work and what conditions can you set once they have been created. Conditional headers are great for many use cases, one of them being creating stunning landing pages without needing to resort to solutions such as creating separate WordPress installations or using cumbersome page builders that replace the page template. Let's dive into the Bloxy Customizer to check out what you can do with this feature. We will use the Yogi's homepage as an example for a landing page in our case. First off, we will need to create the new header that will be linked to our landing page. Simply go to Header, Headers section, and click the Create New Header button. You'll be prompted to pick a name for the new header to easily distinguish it from the others. There's also an option to copy an already existing header in case you wish to make small adjustments to another header that you might have created. In our case, we'll start from scratch. Once we've created our new header, we will need to select and customize it with the elements of our choosing. We'll speed this up a bit, but for more details on how to work with the header builder, there's a handy tutorial video linked in the description. Great, we've customized the header with our design elements. Now it's time to dive in deeper with the header display conditions. Click on the header name on the left sidebar, then choose Add Edit Conditions. You will be presented with the usual conditional dialog. We'll set this header to appear on the home page. Click on Add Display Condition, then select Page ID from the drop down menu. Simply search for the desired page that you wish this header to appear on. On a side note here, there are also user conditions available to be configured. This will let you set the conditions for the header depending on things such as if a user is logged in or not, or depending on their role. This is useful for a membership type of website where certain options are locked behind a user created account. Once we're happy with the changes, simply click Save Conditions, then click on the Publish button to save the changes. Let's go back into the front end to check out the new header. And there we go. The new header is being displayed correctly on the home page. Navigate to another page to see if it's displayed there or not. Perfect. It's great that with conditional headers, you can achieve a level of customization not possible with other products, which leaves you with endless flow optimization patterns for your website. Thank you, and we cannot wait to see you in the next Bloxy tutorial. Take care.